Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Hi! This is an example of a thread. A thread is generally classified as an external and internal, sometimes also called as male and female threads. For me, the most exciting method of producing threads is by the use of a lathe machine. It is done by taking successive light cuts with a threading tool bit the same shape as the thread form. Okay? Now, in order to produce an accurate thread, it is important that the machine, the cutting tool, and the work be set up properly. And this is what we are going to perform today. Setting up the lathe for cutting 60 degrees threads. The following procedure in setting up the lathe for cutting 60 degrees threads is as follows. Set the lathe speed about one quarter of the speed used for turning. So the spindle speeds used for ordinary turning varies from 200 to 400 RPM. So we can set 50 to 100 RPM for thread cutting. If you are a learner, I recommend to use low spindle speed so that you will not be in haste in the manipulation of the late parts while threading the workpiece. Kapag sanay ka na, then pwede mo nang taasan ang spindle speed. Step number two, set the quick change gearbox for the required pitch in the number of threads per inch or millimeters. Now, let's try to set up both millimeter and inch pitches of threads in some different brands and model of the lathe machine. This is the Masak brand lathe and the first thing to do is to check the thread chart and find the whole number that represents the pitch in the number of threads per inch and millimeters. Okay, so this is the thread chart of the lathe machine. So, tingnan nyo ito, this symbol represents the millimeter threads. So, mm and the symbol of thread. Ibig sabihin, itong group na ito, on the upper part of the thread chart, ay millimeter threads. Okay, ito naman, the symbol for inch threads. Okay, so lahat tong group na ito ay inch threads or threads per inch. Okay, on the lower part, Ito naman yung feed rate na tinatawag natin. Okay? This symbol. Feed rate per revolution. For automatic feed. Okay? Now, let's try to set up 3 millimeter pitch of thread. Okay? Dito sa metric. So, ito yung 3 mm. Then, tingnan natin vertical column and horizontal. Okay? Vertical column. Okay? Tapat niya is 5. That means, yung gear number 5 ang iset up natin sa loob ng quick change gearbox na ito. Okay? So, ito naman yung tumbler lever of the lathe. Is spin type. Yung iba kasi ay hindi dipihit kundi ditusok. Now, bago natin mapihit, ay i-unlock muna natin tong lever na to. Then, iset na natin yung number 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pihitin natin. Nag-click-click -click bawat number. Then, it should be in line with the indexing line. Itong arrow na ito. Yan. Tapat na siya. Then, i-lock na natin itong lever na ito so that the number 5 gear inside the quick change gearbox will engage on its mating part. Yan. Okay. Then, tinan natin horizontal column along the 3mm pitch of thread. 
letter S. Okay, find the level with letter S. Okay, ito. Itong may kulay orange, dapat tatapat sa letter S. Okay. Then, another for the horizontal column, letter A. Then, another for the horizontal column, Roman numeral number 1. Okay, mamaya. Unahin natin itong letter A. So, nasa ng letter A? The letter A represents the set of gears which is located outside the quick change gearbox. So, nandito sa loob na ito. So, let's open this change gearbox. Okay. So, makikita na natin. Then, dito ngayon yung gear chart with letter A, B, C, D, E, F. So, ang kailangan natin yung letter A. So, it consists of set of gears. Okay? We have the 76th gear, which represents the spindle gear. Then, 90th gear and 60th gear, or N1 and N2, which are the intermediate gears. And 140th of gear, which also represents the lead screw gear. So, this set of gears will connect the spindle down to the lead screw of the lathe. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung tama yung nakaset up dito sa change gears or tawag natin set of gears na nandito sa gear train outside the quick change gearbox. So, 76 teeth sa spindle gear. Ayan, 76 teeth. Tama. Then for the two gears, 90 and 60 feet, nasa intermediate gears, ito yung 90 nasa loob, and yung nasa labas ay 60 feet. So, tama. Then, for the lead screw gear is 140 feet. Ito. So, dapat 140 feet. Yan. Okay. All gears set on these change gears, Outside the quick change gearbox are correct. Now, bakit kailangan natin i-check ang nakaset up na gear dito sa change gear or set of gears that connects the spindle and the lead screw para sa letter A. Okay? Dahil posibleng ang nakaset up na gears para sa letter A ay hindi yun ang nakalagay at hindi rin lalabas ang required pitch of thread. Bagamat quick change gear ang late na ito, ngunit maraming choices para sa set of gears outside the quick change gear box kagaya nito. Itong column na ito ay combination ng ins and millimeter threads. So, sakop na niya ang ins and millimeter threads. With the set of gears of 76 teeth, 84 teeth, 88 teeth, and 104 teeth. Kaya lang hindi yun ang naka-set up dito sa change gears natin. So let's continue on the horizontal column. We have the Roman numeral with this number 1. So hanapin natin lever na may Roman numeral number 1. Okay, ito. So dapat itong... That natin with color orange ay tatapat sa letter R, number 1. Sa number 1. Yan. Okay. So, nakaset up na tayo sa millimeter thread which is 3 mm. So, now let's try for inch threads. We will set up 12 TPI. So, dito na tayo sa inch threads. Okay. The same manner. Tingnan natin yung vertical column. So, number 5. So, tingnan natin sa tumbler lever. So, number 5. So, parehas na. Then, sa horizontal column, letter S. Okay, the same. Then, another letter A. So, the same. Letter A din kanina. Sa millimeter thread. Then, the only difference is, on this column, it should be number 2. Okay, take note. The number 1 in Roman numeral represents the millimeter threads. And number 2 represents the inch threads or threads per inch. So, dapat isi-shift natin yung lever from 1 to 2 or from millimeter to inch threads. Okay, ito na. From 1 to 2. 
Okay? Ayan, nakaset na rin sa inch threads. 12 threads per inch. Now, let's try to set up thread pitch in the other late machine. The Takisawa late machine. This is a Takisawa late. Okay. Here is 3mm pitch of thread. Okay, 3mm. Okay, tingnan din natin vertical column. Letter B. So, hanapin natin lever na may letter B. This one. Position natin sa letter B. Okay. Then, from our horizontal column, we have the number 1. So, number 1 is the number of gear that should be positioned or engaged inside the quick change gearbox. So, ito. My number 1 to 6. Ito yung tumbler lever. Ugutin natin. Then, slide natin. Papunta sa, sa tapat ng number 1. Ayan. Okay. Then, again, on the horizontal column, we'll find... The set of gears, okay, we have 60 teeth, 75 teeth, and 80 teeth. So, ito yung spindle gear, the intermediate gear, and the lead screw gear. Tingnan natin. Okay, so yan, yung, isang, yung set ng gear, dito sa gear train. Then, for the inch threads, Let's say 12 TPI. Dito naman yung inch threads. Okay. 12 TPI. This one. So, the same. Tingnan natin vertical column. It's number 5 for the tumbler lever. So, ito. Pugutin natin. Then, slide natin. Papunta sa number 5. Okay. Tapat na. Then, horizontal column, letter A. So, itong lever na to with letter A. Position natin with letter A. Okay. Then, for the set of gears, we have 50 for the spindle gear, 50 for the intermediate gear, and 126 teeth for the lead screw gear. Now, pansin ninyo, itong tumbler gear ay hindi katulad ng ibang model na DP heat. Okay? Now, ano ang napansin nyo sa brand or and model na takisawa na ito? The set of gears outside the quick change gearbox, ito, needs to be changed for almost every three pitches of millimeter threads. Di ba? Yan. Kaya ang tawag natin sa ganitong late ay change gear type. Okay? Dito sa set of gears natin. Now, let's try for the other model of the Takisawa late. This one. Let's set up the same thread pitch para makita natin ang kaibahan for this model of Takisawa. So, hanapin natin ang millimeter threads. Ayan. Araw natin nalaman. May symbol na millimeter threads. Yan. So, hanapin natin ang 3mm pitch. Ayan. Then, vertical column. Number 5. Okay. Gear number 5 inside the quick change gearbox. So, tingnan natin yung tumbler lever. So, ito, spin type din. So, bago natin mapihit. Dapat i-unlock natin tong lever na ito. Yan. Yan. Napipihit na natin. Yan. Dapat tatapat yung gear number 5 dito sa indexing line. Then, i-lock natin tong lever para mag-engage din yung gear number 5 inside this quick change gearbox. Yan. Then, di na natin mapipihit. For the horizontal column, number 3, we have... Letter A. Okay. Hanapin natin lever with letter A. Okay. This one. So, yeah. Letter A dapat in line with the indexing line. Okay. So, let's proceed for the English thread. Let's set up 12 TPI. This one. So, this is the symbol for English thread. Then, 12 TPI, vertical column, the same, number 5. 
So, number 5 na tayo dito. Then, horizontal column. Letter A. So, the same with what we have set up for the 3mm metric thread. So, what we need to do is just shift this lever from millimeter to inch threads. Okay? So, nasa millimeter tayo. Punta tayo sa inch threads. Itong symbol ng inch. Okay. So, ano naman ang napansin nyo sa Takisawa model na ito? Wala tayong binago sa set of gears dito sa labas. Di ba? Pareho lang ang gears sa MM at inch threads. Tingnan nyo itong thread chart. Ayan. Sa MM. For the spindle gear, we have 27 teeth. Intermediate gear, 111 and 93. And for the lead screw gear, 57. Tingnan naman natin sa inch threads. For the spindle gear, we have 27 teeth, 111 teeth, and 93 sa intermediate gears, and 57 teeth sa lead screw. So, parehas lang. So, ang tawag naman natin sa light na ito ay quick change gear type. Okay, this is a Washino lathe, a small type. Yan. Tingnan na lang natin itong thread chart ng Washino brand lathe. So, yung symbol na millimeter, ito. So, ito yung group ng millimeter threads. Ito naman yung inch threads or threads per inch. May symbol siyang 1 inch. Okay, so kung iset natin itong 3 mm pitch na millimeter thread, okay, tingnan natin yung set of gears dito sa outside of the quick change gearbox. For the spindle gear, letter A. So ito yung letter A. Itong gears na ito sa horizontal column. Then letter B dito sa baba. Ito naman gears para sa B or represents the lead screw gear, then the letter A represents the spindle gear. So, kung 3mm ang pitch natin, tingnan natin vertical, so 30 teeth para dun sa spindle gear. Then sa intermediate gears, we have 127 teeth and 120 teeth. Then for the lead screw gear, sa letter B, okay, dito, then, 30 teeth. Okay? So, dapat, yung 30 teeth para sa lead screw gear ay katapat niya yung 120 teeth sa intermediate gear. Okay? So, tinan natin sa inch threads, sa 12 threads per inch. Okay? Tinan natin yung sets of gears dito. Okay, 12 TPI, vertical column, okay, for spindle gear or letter A, 30 teeth din. Then for the uh, lead screw gear, which is letter B, 30 teeth. Okay, parehas. Ngayon, tingnan natin ang kaibahan niya doon sa set of gear para sa millimeter threads. Okay, yung, yung lead screw gear para sa inch threads, ang katapat niya ay 127 teeth. Okay, yan. Kanina, ang katapat naman sa millimeter thread ay 120 feet. Okay, tingnan natin yung set of gears dito sa loob ng change gearbox. Okay, so ito yung nakaset up sa inches threads. Okay, so itong 30 feet gear para sa lead screw, ang katapat niya ay 127 feet sa intermediate gear. Ito yung 127 feet. So ang nakaset up na ito ay para sa in threads or threads per inch. So, i -re reposition natin. Ugutin natin. Then, itapat natin dito sa 120 teeth sa loob. Okay, ikpitan na natin. Oh. So, magkatapat na ang 30 teeth sa lead screw gear sa 120 teeth sa intermediate gear. So, nakaset up na tayo sa millimeter threads. Okay, so ano napansin nyo sa Wasino brand na small type? Meron tayong isang gear na nareposition, yung gear para sa lead screw, which is the 30 teeth. Hinugot natin, 
inilipat natin sa 120 feet para sa katapat niya sa intermediate gear. But in other model of Wasino lathe, it is easier to shift that gear from millimeter to inch or from inch to millimeter. Tingnan natin. So this is another model of Wasino brand, a bigger size than the first one that we set up. Just pull to set up for inch threads, then push for metric threads. So it's easier than the other model of Washino Lite. For the last brand of the Lite machine, which is Hawaii Strong, also made in Japan. So almost the same with Washino brand. Okay. Yung kanyang tumbler lever, IDP hit din. Yan. Then, ilalak din na din. Then, pareha salos sa Wasino brand na huli nating chinek. Push and pull din para sa paglilipat ng MM at in threads. Kapag pinun natin, that is for in threads, pag pinus natin pa loob, millimeter thread. Yan. Okay? So, anong tawag natin dito? At saka dun sa Wasino brand kanina, na parehas push and pull, that is semi-quick change gear type light machine. Kasi meron tayong isang gear na sinishift. Hindi katulad yung Takisawa light kanina na wala tayong ginalaw dito sa labas ng quick change gear box or yung set of gears para sa spindle, intermediate, and the lead screw. Yun ay quick change gear type lathe. Okay, for the next step, engage the lead screw. I will rotate the chuck by hand and make sure that the lead screw revolves. So, mag-shift dapat. Ang iikot this time ay yung lead screw. By positioning this lever from the automatic feed to threading. Okay? Yan. Then I will rotate the chuck by hand. Yan. Umikot na ang lead screw. Okay? Next like step. Secure a 60 degrees threading tool bit. Check the angle using a thread center gauge. This is a 60 degrees threading tool bit. I will now check its included angle by the use of a center gauge. Okay. Exactly. X. Set the compound rest at 29 degrees to the right, to the left for a left hand thread. Okay, I will now position the compound rest to 29 degrees. Mula rito sa 0 na yan. 10, 20, 9. Okay, that is the indexing line. So, 29 degrees. Then, I will now lock the compound rest. Next step. Mount the tool holder in the tool post and set the point of the tool bit even with the dead center point. Okay, so set up natin tool bit the same height as the height of the pointed part of the live center. Okay, makasintas na, then lock. Next step. Set the tool bit at the right angles to the center line of the work using a thread center gauge. Then take note, never jump a tool bit into a thread center gauge. This can be avoided by aligning only the cutting side of the tool bit with a gauge. A piece of paper placed on the cross slide under the gauge and tool bit makes it easier to check the tool alignment. Okay. Pwede tayo maglagay ng white paper sa ilalim ng tool bit. 
Then, luwagan natin ang tool post. Then, this is the center gauge. Okay, the edge of the center gauge should be placed on the straight edge of the workpiece. Then, let the tool bit align with the group of the center gauge freely. Okay, yeah. Then, lock the tool post. Okay, so, kita nyo, naka 90 degrees na yung tool bit natin to the axis of the workpiece by using the center gauge. Next, set the apron feed lever in the neutral position and check the engagement of the split nut lever. Okay, this is the apron of the machine. Dapat in-neutral natin itong automatic feed lever sa gitna. Okay, hindi nakaangat. Hindi nakababa. Bakit? This is the half nut lever. Okay? Tingnan nyo pag nakababa itong automatic feed lever. Hindi ko ma-engage itong split nut lever natin. Okay? Siya yung nagpapagalaw dun sa half nut, dun sa loob ng carriage para mag-engage dito sa lid screw. Okay? So, dapat in-neutral. Pero kung nakataas ito, hindi ko rin ma-engage. So, dapat neutral. Okay? Now, tingnan no. Yan. So, nag-engage na yung split nut doon sa loob ng KU assembly dito sa lead screw. Yan. Yan. So, nagagalaw ko na. Yan, engage ulit. Yan. Kumakapit. Okay. Okay. So that's how we set up the lathe machine for cutting 60 degrees thread. And we are now ready to cut the thread. But that will be on my next tutorial video. So please wait for it. Okay?